Caesars and Circa downtown are just a few of the casinos looking to fill positions. And after layoffs last year, many in the hospitality and gaming industry are looking to get back in the game. More shots in arms, looser coronavirus restrictions, and spring getaways are bringing big numbers back to Las Vegas resorts, which means more help is needed. We're looking for 50 plus um, team members. Next week, Circa is hosting a drive through hiring event. We're going to be setting up a tent and some tables at um, the valet at the Golden Gate, and they're going to be interviewed right on the spot. And the resorts are looking to fill positions quickly. Caesars is hiring 200 housekeeping positions immediately. And the link is looking for 80 restaurant jobs. Just be aggressive. Check, 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 and get that networking going. Really, that, that's what it amounts to. Mark Weiswasser worked in the casino industry for 20 years before becoming a recruiter specialized in the industry. Try to reach out to as many people as possible. If you have visited casinos in the past as a player, reach out to your casino host or to um, any uh, people in the hotel uh, department that you might know. They can give you leads. You need to get your network uh, networking going, and especially through LinkedIn. And whether you show up to one of the job fairs or send it in online, Weisswasser says make sure your resume sticks out and even pay for help from a professional if you can afford it. That investment is going to pay off down the road when a prospective employer gets two resumes side by side and they're comparing apples and apples. But he says making sure your online profile is professional doesn't cost a thing and could make a big difference. And that especially all of the content, content and your photo is professional because prospective employers will go to LinkedIn, look you up there, and if you have cutesy stuff on there or political stuff on there, that definitely could be a deal breaker. But there are still many jobs that haven't been filled. The Culinary Union said about half of its 60,000 workers that it represents were still without jobs entering this month. I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.